What is good, YouTube? This is the FF Dynasty coming at you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment below with either love or if you're feeling like some hate, throw some shade down there. Either way, it all greatly helps us out so we can keep bringing you new content. Um, so let's move to your number three prospect. Who you got? Jerry Judy. Jerry Judy. Jerry Judy. Wide out of Alabama. Man, most technical wide receiver in the class. I mean, he's he's not going to – if someone gets his hands on – if a DB gets – when a DB gets their hands on him, it might be a little problem, right, for him to learn. But, I mean, he's just smooth. He's explosive. He's a dynamic playmaker when he gets the ball in his hands. Uh, the production, sophomore season, over 1,300 receiving yards, won the Bolitnikoff Award as the top receiver in the nation. He's a high five-star recruit. And then again, this season where Alabama was kind of up and down, I think he still finished with over 1,100 receiving yards. I don't care that he didn't hit 30% market share. I don't care about any of that. It's Look not, at the four dudes around him. Like, good luck yeah. hitting 30% share. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that's what I'm saying. It wasn't like he just disappeared, right, like right. somebody else on that offense. He was still, like, the guy. Yeah. Uh, I think he's I think he's another safe, safe wide receiver with high upside. If, if three years from now we're talking about Jerry Judy being one of the best wide receivers in, in, in football, it wouldn't surprise me one bit. He's just – just yeah. a fluid athlete. He's smooth. I would love to see a little more diversity in his skill set. I wish he can do a couple of things that number one and number two for me can do. Jay Judy never, he never was, maybe he's never asked to do it. Maybe he's not good at it, but I wish he was a little more dynamic and there were some other things that he can do and contribute on offense. But you're drafting a wide receiver to play wide receiver and not do a whole bunch of other stuff. So I right. like Judy, man. It's just like you said, you, you you're drafting Judy to be the hammer, and you're going to hammer nails in with him. You're not going to screw some there siding in with some screws. Yep. All right, man. J uh, Jay Wayne, who you got at three? Because I just said I got Jefferson, So, which I think is like basically, like if you want to call it that, a cheaper version of Jerry Judy. Like, that's – yeah, I got I got Mims at three. Like I said before, we talked with him. I got I got Judy at two. Um, just to keep going with Judy. Um, I I could drop him a little bit lower. I mean, it's it's just it's it's tough it's tough to weigh. Like I feel like he's gonna be safe. Like he is safe. He's a crisp route runner. They knock him for the lack of contested catches and physicality. But my man's seven eleven. He's always open. So you're not contesting catches if you're just straight up open. And so. He's going to play a lot of slot, too, I believe. So, that, that's going to help out. He's pretty ridiculous after the catch. You got to enjoy that. Um, pretty fast. The 10-yard split is in the 99th percentile. He's just violent with all of his stop and starts and jukes. And, and he's got a variety of release moves. And so, I mean, he's so many things that he does well that I think will translate. And, and, and then, I mean, he, the name capital, you know, he's going to go as a high draft pick. People love him. If you take him in your dynasty draft, even if he doesn't have a great first year, he's still going to hold value, I believe, because he's Jerry Judy, and he's just, they're going to make excuses for him. There's players in this game who don't have to play well and still get the carry value. And if he does play well, then it's going to explode. So I'm, I'm, right. I'm all for taking Jerry Judy. Um, and I got him at number two right now. I heard he was a bit of uh, not very bright, but we'll see how that – I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that matters. Like, I, I don't know how all that stuff matters, but somebody like – I think it's Scout, and they weren't being funny. They were like, he's barely literate. Like, he's, he's not bright whatsoever, but he can catch a football, and he can yeah. run routes really well. And I think that if Judy – if, if a team drafts him and plays him in the slot, it's going to be a problem. Like, I think he's going to be just – it's going to be ridiculous if, if that's his kind of primary role but can still split out because his – a lot of people talk about acceleration, how fast somebody is from start to go. I like Jerry Judy's deceleration. I think he decelerates better than anybody in this class, and that makes a big difference when you're going – 60 miles an hour and can stop on a dime yeah there's not 10 chop steps to exactly he, he decelerates better than anybody in this class it's it's insane to watch how he moves it's it's unreal yeah and i'm like if he does anything where there's where there's like a post corner anything where there's kind of two concepts involved he's always open i, I haven't yes. seen him covered on anything with like a double move involved in in the route 
Yeah. Um, so that's a way to get them open downfield. Some pretty bad uh, drops in there that are usually there, like would have been touched. There are down. some shitty drops, but oh, then he, he usually does come back and make make a decent <laughs> catch. LSU versus LSU, he drops a bomb for a touchdown, and then catches a corner into that little, yeah, the, yeah, 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 yeah. 